This meditation is to help you to receive everything in your life that's necessary to live a happy, healthy, balanced, emotional existence as a teenager. To prepare yourself for the meditation, I'd like you to lay down. Make sure you're in a comfortable position. Normally laying on your back is preferable. With your legs slightly apart so that your feet can relax. And your arms are down by your side with the palms of your hands open, ready to receive, facing the sky. During today's meditation, you're going to go on a special journey. Prepare yourself by closing your eyes and taking a nice deep breath. As you breathe in and out, be aware of your body, your surroundings. Just be aware how you feel laying down on the earth. I'd like you to take all of your focus and attention down to your feet and be aware of your feet, your ankles, and your lower legs. These areas of your body are starting to get heavy and become very relaxed. Your knees, your thighs, Your hips all relax. Just let your legs start to sink into the ground, the earth, the bed, wherever you're laying. Let them rest and relax. Your hips, your lower back, and your lower stomach all relax. Every time you breathe out, I want you to breathe out any tension, any thoughts that come to you any worries, it's time to just breathe them out and let them go. And every time you breathe in, breathe in relaxation. Let all the muscles in your body start to get soft and relax. this time that we have together during your meditation is time for you to let go of everything in the outside world. School, assignments, money obligations, your job, whatever it is that stresses you out, it's time to put all of that aside and just relax here with me for the time we have. And 
your middle back, your upper back, your chest, all relax. Just let your head and your neck sink deeper and deeper into your pillow. I'd like you to imagine that you're standing under a giant shower head. It's very, very big. And the shower, when you turn it on, is warm and soothing as it slowly runs down over your body. Imagine that instead of the shower releasing water onto your body, it releases a white golden light that starts to flow over your body just like slow flowing honey. Slowly rolling down over your scalp, relaxing each and every follicle. Rolling down over your forehead, the golden light softens all the tension lines that you may have on your forehead and behind your eyes. Relaxing your temples, your eyes, your cheeks. your jaw, even your tongue is completely relaxed by the white golden light, moving down very gently, rolling over your shoulders, down to your elbows. And from your elbows all the way down to your fingertips. And from your fingertips it drips. And as it drips and falls to the earth, it takes with it any final tension that may have been left in your body. So now, you are in a very deep state of relaxation. Using your imagination again, I'd like you to imagine that you're standing at the stairs, the top of a staircase of 10 stairs going down. The staircase can be familiar to you or it can be brand new. Just look down at your feet, look down at the top step that you're standing on and notice the earth and what it's made of. Is it grass, cement, wood, tile? Just be observant of it. Looking down at your 10 steps, at the bottom of the 10 steps, you very faintly see a door, a door that you're going to go through today. It's gonna to take you to a very magical place. It's a place where everything that you need as a teenager is waiting for you to be gifted to you on the other side of that door. I'm going to go down the 10 steps with you, starting now. 10, 
nine, eight, feeling very, very relaxed, seven, six, five, four, three, seeing the door very clearly now, two, one. Standing in front of the door, it's just a plain door, nothing too special. There is a note that's stuck on the door that says welcome to your very own treasure hunt. Interesting, you think. When I count three, not just yet, but on one, you will open the door. On two, you will walk through the doorway. And on three, you will close the door behind you. One, two, three. Looking down at your feet, notice that you're standing on earth. It's just solid mud, gravel type earth. And as you slowly look up and look around, you see that you're in some kind of jungle. There's wildlife everywhere. The trees are so green, all different shades of green. You hear noises from insects and animals far off in the distance, but you know that you're safe here. You're safe to go anywhere in the jungle it's almost as if you have a special pass and everything that lives here is just a fellow being and a friend. Ten paces in front of you there is a tree and you can see on the tree that there is another note. So you start to walk forward towards the tree. Feeling the ground underneath your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You take the note off the tree, you open it, and it says, you need to find me. I am something that will make you feel like you can take on the world. I am something that will make you feel powerful. I am something that will make you feel like you can do anything you set your mind to. You read the clue and you look around. Over to your right, there's a twinkle that catches your eye. It's on the ground and it seems to keep catching the sunlight that comes through the trees every once in a while. It's like a beacon that's shining very brightly. So you start towards the light. You feel drawn towards the light. And when you get there, you bend down 
and you pick up a simple stone that has the word confidence. Ah, you think to yourself, now this is something that would make me feel powerful. That would make me feel like I can do anything I set my mind to. This is my first treasure, my first clue. You didn't notice before, but you are wearing a backpack, very simple, made of linen. You reach over, unzip the backpack, and you put your stone, your confidence in your backpack. Your new first treasure. You look around and you see that there is a tree that looks like it's got mangoes coming from all of the different branches. You walk over towards the mango tree and notice that just a few feet up is another clue waiting for you to find another treasure. You reach on your tippy toes and pull down the second clue. You open it up and it reads I am your dreams. I am everything that you desire to accomplish in the world. I am waiting for you to find me. Hmm. You look around. There's trees. You still hear the animals, but now you also hear running water, the sound of running water. You feel drawn towards the sound and you start towards in the direction of the running water. When you get through the clearing, through the brushes, there it is, beautiful, crystal clear. Just sitting there, as if it had been sent from heaven above. You walk down to the water and put your feet in the water. And something catches your eye over to the left. Something bright, reflecting the sun. Just like before, and you know instinctively it's another clue. It's your treasure. You wade over to where the light is coming from, and you pick up a stone from the river and the simple stone has the word ambition written on it. This makes total sense to you now. You know that you need ambition to make your dreams come true. This is a wonderful treasure, you think to yourself. I would like ambition. And now I have it. You unzip the backpack and put your second piece of treasure in your backpack along with your confidence. Even though the water feels very nice on your feet, you make your way back up onto land 
and you notice that over to your left there is a group of animals all feeding off the water at the same time and you start to make your way over to the group of animals you sit down take a breath and just watch them fuel in their bodies from the water and you notice that one of them is stirred on what looks like another piece of paper it's actually your third clue to your next treasure you go over, you pick up the piece of paper and you open it and it reads I am perfection I am healthy I am happy and I am whole hmm take a look around and there's a waterfall that catches your eye you take off your backpack place it to the ground and start to wade back into the water ankles, knees, hips until you're swimming towards the waterfall When you get to the waterfall, you instinctively know that you need to go through the waterfall to reach the other side. Something is there waiting for you. You sense it. You can feel it. There on the other side, again, is a beacon of light drawing you to it. It's your third and final clue. You pick up your clue and it's a simple stone. This time, the simple stone has a healthy body image written on the stone healthy body image you read it you take a moment and you think and as you think you notice that the water on this side of the waterfall is very very still not a single ripple no motion you can see the reflection of your face and your body as clearly as daylight every single inch of you is there for you to see Your arms are strong and powerful and they do whatever you need them to do. Your legs, they hold your body up every day. Walk, run, they do whatever you want them to. You see a glow of pink light in the middle of your chest reflected back of you. And it's your heart, your precious heart that beats constantly for you, that keeps you alive without you even consciously knowing or thinking about it. 
your brain that serves you and keeps you alive, your beautiful eyes you see differently for the first time that show you the world, your ears that allow you to hear laughter, pain, all different forms of life. Here in this reflection you can see the true beauty of everything about your amazing, perfect body, just the way it is. You take hold of your stone, you swim back through the waterfall, you swim all the way back to the shore. You pick up your backpack and you put your final piece of treasure in your backpack. You start to walk back through the jungle towards the door that you came through. This time, you are different. This time, everything about you is different. Now, you hold three different treasures. You have confidence. You have ambition. And you know that you are perfect in your own way. You have a healthy body image. You understand exactly how tremendous your body is. Walking back to the door, bringing your treasures back with you. When I click my fingers and I count to three, you'll be back at the bottom of the 10 steps that you originally came down. One, two, three. Climbing back up the 10 steps, every step you take will reinforce the new treasures that you hold within you. One, two, three, feeling full of confidence. Four, five, six, feeling the fire of ambition right there in your gut. Seven, eight, nine, knowing that you are perfectly imperfect, just the way you are. Final step, 10. Open your eyes whenever you're ready and bring yourself back to your new reality. Namaste.